Uh, it's another lovely day to you, distinguish viewers at home from wherever you're watching us. This is Rero TV. And my name is Akbar Rero Henry Akbar. Today, we are at the home of the General Overseer of Jesus Solution Christian Bible Deliverance Ministry, aka Solution Center. We're talking about none other than a bishop, prophet, Kingsley Majemite. Bishop, now let's uh, digress a little to Data State now. Uh, we saw the trending news <laughs> that uh, the Data State Governor, uh, His Excellency Senator Ifan Yokoa, is uh, actually uh, has actually presented a, a bill to for 150 billion naira loan, which has been approved by the House of Assembly. Now. The argument is that the loan is going to be used to pay pensioners, you know, and uh, service some uh, uh, projects. What's your, your thought on this, sir? <laughs> this is a very big question this morning. I, I want to thank the SLSs, uh, Dr. Fayokoa. I think uh, some weeks ago, I, I was listening to the news because I'm very good on that. Yeah. When I ever read the newspaper, I saw him when he passed a B into the House of Assembly and the Speaker approved it for him that uh, he wants to borrow 20 billion naira and he's going to put a 14 billion naira at uh, some guy that moved by Sapre local government and he will use the remaining 6 billion naira to carry the affair of the state which I, 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 I saw it on media. What, uh, it's what I saw in the media is what I'm saying now. Yes, so I believe it's not just long he borrowed that money. Mm -hmm. Now the question he want to put 14 billion in Sun Guide. Is the project of the Sun Guide, they say they're going to put 14 billion. Is it going on now? No. That's a question you will need to ask. Is the 14 billion naira they want to put in Sun Guide? Is the contract going on in Sun Guide there now? If the contract is going on now, the 14 billion is doing its work there. Yes. Is it on media? Is it on head that people see that, yes, so this is what the governor said, the work is going where? Then the 6 billion era, the direction that 6 billion era is going to, uh, this is where it's going to, that in the data we now see it. We have not, uh, we have not, uh, I think we have not finished about that. I heard another news, 50 billion era loan. I saw it on media too. Yes. Uh -huh. Then this one is 150 billion hmm. for patient. I want whatever, whatever. How long that people are, there are some people who have that have retired from service. Some of them die without taking their pension. Is it okay? Is it the first governor that borrowed money that said we want to pay a patient? Huh? Did they, did they pay patient? Yeah? Some people die. Some people, after their parents die, they start working together. Did they get the money? So if uh, our governor said they want to borrow 150 billion to run the affair of the state, if we calculate between last month and this month, 50 billion, 20 billion to this one, total money that the governor wants to borrow is just a difference of between three months, two months. It's almost about 220 billions. Big money. You just look, look, look at, look at the money. Look yeah, at the yeah, money. money when you look at it, <laughs> even with the borrow, 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 that our governors are borrow, our federal government are borrow. People, security. We see our security problem. There is no free education. The poor man are still dying. The masses are still complaining. Hunger is see everywhere. We see how bad road. No light. No good water. What are you telling me? Let me tell you something we need to know. I'm a man of God. Even your own, as a journalist who came to interview me this morning, I was surprised when people came. So now, if you carry banana on your head and say, buy banana, buy banana, you start hawking your banana. When you get home, you lock your door, you will still give account of the banana. Whether you, are, you have a, a, a profit or a loss, you will give account of your own business. Then, to God, to the face of God, every good seed you sow in this earth, you will give account when you meet God. The bad seed you sow, you will give account when you meet God. The, those who are in political system, those who are appointed, I know, on this bill, those who they gave appointment to, they can't speak on this matter. The people who are eating under the government cannot speak on this matter. It is a common man like us who are not eating under the government, who they don't give appointment, that we can equally stand to say something where we see the error. But we should know that the ESCC, 
They are on the high throne, what you know. Nigerians are looking. All the law that governors of different states are taking, Nigerians are just keeping quiet. States are just keeping quiet. You know what happened in Anabla State? When the governor of Anabla State, the former governor of Anabla State, when he hand over to the new governor, the next day he want to go to airport, he want to fly out. What happened to him? ESCC grabbed him. But he, when he was on seat, he think he's the owner of the state. He borrowed money, borrowed billion, billion, billion. But when he left seat, ESCC came from him. The state began to put up petition against him. So our governor should wise. He should take lesson of what happened in Anabla. Anabla is just a boundary between data. Yes. He should take lesson between what happened in Anabla. Because all the billions, billion, 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 data states, they hold their pen. People who does not belong to PDP political forum, they hold their pen. Even there are some people in the PDP platform, they hold their pen. Even some of the people who the SLS gave an appointment to commissioner are there because they cannot talk at, but in corner, in secret, they are talking. Oh, we know what we are hearing outside. Oh, mm. I should not go there. So, the, the same people when you are dancing, people will be crapping with you. Say the dance with when you fall, these are the same people who still laugh at you. Our former governor of this state, Ibori, when he went to jail in outside country, no any of the commissioner the jail with him. No any of the permanent secretary on the chief of staff, on the deputy governor, or the speaker the jail with him. Yes. The jail him alone. All because they said uh, money laundry, uh, mismanagement of the state. Yeah, there, but the question is, is he only Ibori that really eats all those money they are counted on his head? Are there the people who is the power, who is the who is the executive he have commissioner minister uh, uh, what is he called chief of staff deputy governor and here and there here PA SA are they not really involved? But who serve, who serve the punishment alone? It is Bori. So our government should take lesson from that. We have oil. We have mineral resources in the state. We have a different company in this state. We have a private section company in this state. The gov they are paying tax to the government. So with all those money they are realizing from oil company here, there, here, there, what are they using there for? And even a 13% derivation, we also, we also uh, uh, receive one of the highest allocations. Allocation? So now, nah, I even say the allocation that the federal government is bringing to the state every month, why, where is those money going? Yes. Can't we use those money? to do what we do in the state without going to borrow, without going to take load. Who are we taking the load for? We are taking all this load for the next governor that is coming. When the next governor comes, we say, ah, the former governor has borrowed everywhere. So there's no money to work. That one we continue to borrow again. We start owing debt for our next generation coming. Everybody will give account. Yes, all what I just have to say, the ESCC, they are somewhere watching. They are sitting watching what is happening in the state. They are somewhere watching what is happening in various states. Even the law that President Buhari is taking, is taking, is taking, is taking, everybody is watching. We are seeing what the, the economic, uh, economic officer will do after the administration of President Buhari, even the, after the administration of every other governor in the state, who take loan, and what they take the loan for does not work out. Then you will give account of it. I will not say more than that. All what I will say, the SLS should use the sense. I'm not against the loan it take, or that I'm promoting the loan. I'm not saying that the SLSC do wrong by him to say he need the loan of 150 billion. Then I'm not saying that he do right by taking the loan. Only God know where that loan is going for. And I'm not God to judge. I am not the ESCC who is going to come and interview anybody. I want to wish my humble son the first youth president in my ministry. I, I thank God that uh, God have added to his years today. And uh, I'm sending my birthday message to him that in these days, on this very day of his birthday, I pray that the Lord will increase him, the Lord will guide and strengthen him, will protect him. What his father and his mother could not achieve on earth, he will achieve it. He will live long more than everybody in his family. I pray for him that the Lord will prosper the works of his hand and his business will continue to excel. 
uh, those that are against him will go down before him. The Lord will prepare the table for him, and the enemy will eat under his table. I once again, I wish the Youth President of Jesus Solution Christian Bible Deliverance Ministry, aka Solution City, I wish the Youth President happy birthday, long life and prosperity, more years to see. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray.